and it uh, shot. could well be Western Wolf. But that's it, they're all in, and they break away. And as they come for the first furlong, they're definitely splitting into two camps. On the far side, Sylvan Tempest to Miss Sarah Jane. On the stand side, Villa Nica and Classic Suite. And the far side have it. And we're doing about 45 miles an hour, at least we were, as they race through the uh, first furlong. And Euro Dollar and Sylvan Tempest to Miss Sarah Jane showing up on the far side. And on the stand side, it's Classic Suite in the yellow jacket. And also up with the pace is Evich Star. And they race through the first quarter mile now. And on the stand side, it's Evich Star who leads from Classic Suite and Salman and Sleep Blind Princess. On the far side, it's uh, Terminator and On My Merit. And they come down towards the halfway stage. And Evich Star on the stand side from Classic Suite and Sleep Blind Fantasy. On the far side, it's Euro Dollar and the Irish Raider. Upward trend is certainly in the firing line. They race down past the three and Evich, Star and Sleep Blind uh, Fantasy coming with a run on the stand side. The high numbers uh, seem to be in front at this stage. I've got just over two to go. Down the centre of the track, Miss Sarah Jane and Kaya on the far side, but the stand side have it. And it's Evich Star in the lead. And Van Roy putting in a big run on the stand's rails. The low numbers have got no chance. It's high, high all the way. And it's Van Roy and Evich Star and Villanica and Fact Finder coming off the pace. And it is Paul and Northern Printer and Salman on the far side. And finishing very fast is Rose Glenn. But the stand side have it. And it's Evich Star. Another big race win for Aaron Munro. Evich Star from Villanica. Then came in Paul and Fact Finder. Rose Glenn won the race on the far side. And she was clear of Terminator and Becquerel. Neither of them ever got into the race with any sort of a chance. Uh, then behind these came Breezewell. Here he comes, and behind that one, Silver Tempest, having showed up for some way up, would Trem beat a few. Uh, one of those was midfielder. Another was Marcroft and the tail end, Charles, include on my merit the result then of this, the William Hill Lincoln handicap. It's a win for number 12, Evich Starr, in the colours of uh, Mr. Gwyn Meredith. Trained at Moulton by Jimmy Fitzgerald, ridden at uh, two pounds overweight by Alan Munro, but made virtually all the running and landed a big bets at 33 to 1, returned at SP. The second horse is number 21, Villanica, in the colours of Bill Gredley, ridden by Gary Barwell. It's officially a photo for third place, and involved in that photo is uh, Van Roy and also Fact Finder. Well, I must say, you'd hardly expect on a day as windy as this, you'd hardly expect a horse to make all the running. But that, I think, is what uh, Evich Star has done. As you'll see, they split up immediately. And I'm bound to say that Jay McCurrick has been proved absolutely right. I'm sorry to say it's, he'll be quite a bit richer. Than he's, he's taken all our, all our money off us. Uh, Evich Star is already in front on the, on the stand side, and the stand side is already in front of the far side, Jim. Absolutely, and Evich Star, the horse who went down early, who had to stand on his own in the cold while we waited for the one with the uh, spread plate to join them, has really dominated the race, and I thought beforehand, OK, it's all right being a front runner in, in an average size field, but in a big field like this, was sure to be something that would come snapping at his heels and catch him in the closing stages. But here, the, the change of angles again shows you how far he is in front of the group over on the far side. Classic sweep, one or two others chasing him up. The uh, One of the favourites, Becker, you can just see if you look over on the far side, Paddy bumping up and down, getting nowhere, and the, not just Evich the whole group are clear on this side, John. Yep, it's a uh, it's, uh, total uh, change from the past eight years in which low numbers have uh, dominated the race. The um, drier ground has made all the difference. Now there's, I think I see... Fact Finder. Bit, fact Finder, yes, running a fine race again. And uh, Inish Poor is, is there, but uh, none of them get to Evich Star. The Morton neglected, although he wasn't neglected in the betting. But uh, Evich Star, the winner, looks like Fact Finder second with Villanica third and possibly Inish Poor Force, but we'll confirm the placings to you shortly.